Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a new project which is going to be a word count tool. So we're going to be coding a project that's going to take in a text file and it's going to return the word count. So we've seen this in Microsoft Word, Google Docs. At the bottom corner, they usually display the word count. So you're going to be taking in a text file and you're going to be returning the word count. So in order to understand this video better, it is recommended that you watch the file handling video which deals with the open function, the read function, all the functions we'll be seeing in this video. So you can refer to that video if you don't understand anything. So we can get started. So let's create a new file. We're going to call it word count.py. So the first thing we need to do is set out a plan. So what do we need to do? From the user, we need to take one input. So that input is going to be the name of the file. So after we take in the name of the file, we're going to open it using the open function, the built-in open function. We're going to be opening it in read mode because all we want to do is read out the contents. So once we've opened it in read mode, so we're going to be storing all the contents of the file in a variable and we're going to be using a new function that we haven't seen before, which is the split function. What the split function does is it takes in a large string or a short string. It just takes in a string and based on the delimiter that you provide it or if it's empty, the delimiter by default is going to be the space character. So it's going to create a list of items and it's going to separate your string by the spaces and it's going to create a list. So I'm going to show you what that looks like when we write the code. And finally, after we've got that list, we're going to be using the built-in len function, which is going to give us the size of our list. And that size is going to be equal to the word count of the file provided. So that is our plan. So we're going to get into the code now. So the first thing we need is the file name. So we're just going to take that from the user. So we're going to create a variable called file name and we're going to set it equal to input. And we're going to prompt the user to enter the file name. And once we have the file name, we're going to be using the open keyword or the open function. So inside the open function, it takes in two parameters. One is the name of the file and the other is the mode we want to open the file by. So the name of the file in our case is going to be file name, which we took from the user. And the mode we're going to be opening it is going to be in read mode. So we're going to have R. And once we open our file, we're going to put it in a variable called file and we're going to set it equal to open and now once we've opened our file we can access different functions like read which we'll be accessing in this video so what does read do it's going to give us all the contents of the provided file so we're going to have contents which is going to be the variable name and we're going to store inside it file dot read so in order to see this in action we're going to create a text file in our directory we're going to call it hello.txt and we're going to open that file and we're going to type in hello my name is Abel and welcome to my YouTube channel and we're going to save this and we're going to go back to our word account file and to see what the contents are, we're just going to print it out using the print function. We're going to print contents. We're going to save our file and we're going to run it using the terminal. Our file name is word count dot pi. It asks us to enter the file name, which is hello dot txt. As you can see, it prints out all the contents of the hello.txt file. So it's working properly. 
and once we have this we need to use the split function so first let me write it out then i'll explain how the split function works so let's just create a variable called words and we're going to set it equal to contents dot split which is going to create a list so let's just print it out to see what happens let's print out words we're going to save the file and we're going to run it it asks us to enter the file name we're going to put in hello.txt as you can see it's created a list of each and every word in our file that is because the delimiter in here is empty that means it's going to be space by default so it's going to be each word of our file is going to be stored in a list so that is how the split function works so once we have that list that means our word count is going to be equal to the number of elements in our list and we're going to be using the len function to find the length of our list so in order to use the len function we just write len and in parentheses we're going to put in the list that we want to know the length of so in this case it's going to be words so once we have the length of our list we're going to store store it in a variable called num words so this num words is basically the word count of our file so once we have that we're going to have a print statement which is going to print a formatted string that says the file followed by file name contains and we're going to sub in num words contains these amount of words so if we wanted to put the file name in quotations so it is different from the remaining of the text we can put double quotes around our file name but as you can see that brings a problem because double quotes are used for strings are used to define strings so in order to use normal double quotes we need to escape them that means we need to use the escape character as we've seen before when we typed in a new line the escape character is a backslash so before our double quotes we're going to put in a backslash and we're also going to put in a backslash for our first double quote and that means now these double quotes act as normal double quotes and they do not act as strings so once we do that, we can save our file and we can go to the terminal and run it. Our name, our file name is word count.py. It asks us to enter the file name, which is going to be hello.txt. So it prints out the file hello.txt contains 11 words. So finally, let's just check if that is correct. So we're going to go back to our hello.txt file and we're going to count the number of words. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So our pro our program works correctly. So this is a simple implementation of a word count project in Python. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily programming videos.